Now that our first layer is solved, we can move on to the second layer. So in this video, I'll teach you how to solve the four edge pieces to complete the middle layer. The middle layer is quite easy to solve because it only requires the placing of four edge pieces around it. Your cube should currently look like this after you've solved the first layer, and after this step, it will look like this, where you've solved two entire layers. However, we need to solve the edge pieces in a way which doesn't mess up our already solved first layer. So we need to use algorithms to solve these edge pieces. The edge pieces that we want to solve are those which don't contain the color of our top layer. So for us, if you've solved the cross on your white side, these will be the edge pieces which don't contain a yellow sticker. Your first step is to find an edge in the top layer which belongs in a position in the middle layer. So for example here we have the blue and the red edge, which belongs here, in between the blue and the red centers like an edge does. What you need to do is rotate the top layer to make sure that the sticker facing outwards, in this case the red sticker, is aligned with the red center. From here you'll have either one of two cases. Either your edge will need to go to the left here or it will need to go to the right. In this case here this blue and red edge needs to go to the left in between the blue and the red centers. So hold it so this edge is at the front and in the top and make sure that the sticker on the side matches up with the, with the center sticker. To move it to the left, you simply perform the following algorithm. U prime, L prime, U, L, U, F, U prime, F prime. Now our edge piece is solved here. The next piece that we see is this orange and green edge piece. So what we want to do is rotate it so that this green sticker, which is facing the outside, matches up with the green center, remembering to keep the edge in the front position. Here we have the situation where the edge needs to go to the right in between the green and the orange centers down here. So to move an edge instead of the left, but to the right, all we need to do is the following algorithm. U, R, U prime, R prime, U prime, F prime, U, F. And now our edge is solved. Another edge has just popped up here. So it's the green and the red edge, which belongs between the red and the green centers over here. Our green sticker is already aligned with the green center here, so we don't need to worry. And it's already in the, in the front position. So to move it to the left, we use the same algorithm as before. U prime, L prime, U, L, U, F, U prime, F prime. Now we only have one more edge piece remaining, which is this orange and blue edge. So what we do is remembering to match up this blue sticker with the blue center, like so, and hold the edge so it's in the front. And again, we have a case where it needs to go to the left. So we do the left algorithm. U prime, L prime, U, L, U, F, U prime, F prime. Now we've solved the entire first two layers of the Rubik's Cube. You might run into the situation where there are no middle layer edges in the top layer, but we still haven't solved the middle layer. This is the case where two or more edges need to swap with one another. So what we need to do to take this edge out of its incorrect position is just pretend that we're going to put this yellow edge in here. So do, moving it to the right, we do U, R, U prime, R prime, U prime, F prime, U, F. And that takes this piece out of this position and then we can solve it into there and solve that one into there as normal. You might also run into the case where we have the edge in its correct position but it's incorrectly flipped. Here what we do is the same as the other case. We just take one of the top layer edges and put it in there just so we can take that one out. So putting this one to the right, U, R, U prime, R prime, U prime, F prime, U, F. So with these two layers complete, there's only one more layer to go, so we're almost there. 